Welcome to chapter 10, guys. So we are in March now, and we are going to um, continue on with some vendors and bill paying. So just so we make sure we're starting in the right place, display dashboard invoices, money in and money out reports, and make sure we're balancing. So you see here that the money in, money out reports um, should show these um, various customers and the due dates. And then here on the customer balance detail, um, we should show 16, 15, 87. And the money out, the unpaid bills, should be the forty-one thirty-five. So I'm just going to make sure that is correct for me. Um, unpaid bills, and here we show the four thousand one hundred and thirty-five dollars. Okay, the 4135 balance is the same as accounts payable in the February 28th trial balance. Um, when viewing money in and out, you can type the um, as of date or select all dates. So here you see our trial balance um, as from January 1st to February 28th. So our trial balance January 1st, January 1st, 2024 to February 28th, 2024, 90,846.35. So we're balancing there. Before recording March transactions, make sure your trial balance agrees with this. If you need to edit it, go to the February journal report and look at all your transactions. Make sure you added the $20 service fee that was in the bank. So after analyzing each of these source documents, record the appropriate transaction. All transactions occurred during March. So here we have on February, excuse me, March 6th, we received the following payments from eBiz. Invoice 1049, 180, customer check 10392. So remember, it's new, received payment. This was March 6th from eBiz. So we'll switch it to March 6th. The customer is eBiz. And the invoice is 1049. So 1049 is the invoice. And we can save that. Next, it looks like the bank sent verification of credit card receipts in the amount of $43.92.54. And we're going to look at how, who the transactions were involved. This is March 6th. And this is 15 data storage and one computer. So oh, I didn't want to do invoice. I'm going to just do cash um, new sales receipt. And we will show 
March 6th. This is 15 data storage, one computer. So 15 data storage. Then we have a computer, one computer, for a total of 1538.45, okay, which we have right there. The next one is five network products, same date. Network products, five. We have three web servers and one webinar. Web server, I believe I said three. and one webinar for 90. For a total here of 1633.94. Then we have another receipt, one computer, five data storage. So we've got another one. Computer, data storage, this is for 12-20-15. Now we have a bill, a bill dated March 7th, Cloud Z Channel. So we've got a bill, March 7th, Cloud Z, and this is five web servers, five for a thousand bucks. Now we have the sales and invoice from eBiz on March 8th. New invoice, eBiz. This is March 8th. And this is for nine data storage, invoice 1061. Invoice 1061, nine data storage. Okay. Then we have two vendor payments, so we'll now go to checks, and we've got on Mar March 8th, Ample Store, check number 1100, March 8th. Ample store, check 1100, and this was for bill AS401, okay? And then we have Cloud Z channel, CZ403. Okay, 
This is for CZ403. For a thousand bucks, right there. So here are the remittance forms we will use in order to um, send those checks. Next, we have a bill, AS476, from Ample Store, dated March 12th. Ample Store, March 12th. And this is AS476 for 22 data storage. Let me make sure I write it. AS476, 22 data storage. So we will go down here. 22 data storage. Okay. Now we have another bill for a conference call for three webinars, March 12th. March 12th, conference call. And this is for three webinars. And this is invoice for 31CC. Okay. Next, we have a sales invoice, Law Offices of Williamson, Gallagher, and Katz, March 15th, March 15th, invoice 1062. So I'll change the date. Invoice 1062 we have, and it shows six network products. So we'll add network products for six of those. For $300. Okay. Then we have another sales invoice, Permanente, on March 15th. Permanente on March 15th. This is for invoice 1063 for four webinars. Webinars, four webinars. And we will notice the sales tax related to this invoice. Next, we have a bill, AS490, on March 17th. March 17th. AS490, and this is ample store for 10 data storage. Ample store ten data storage. Okay. Then We have a sales invoice, WebPro, on March 17th.
March 17th, Web Pro, and we've got here one web server. I'm going to go down here. web server and you also see that we are collecting sales tax. Next we have some vendor payments. So we will go and checks and these are on March 19th checks 1102 and 1103 March 19th and this one is to Ample Store for AS423 Ample Store AS423 I think that's my goofiness of 180 that's it okay then we have another check and this is to conference call 275CC. Two seven five CC for $135. And we have those paid. Again, the remittances that will go along with the checks. And then we see here, we receive payment from the law officers for invoice 1050. So this is on March 19th. We receive payments on March 19th. The law offices, this is invoice 1050. And this was check, and the check number, whoops, is 5911, then we receive payment from Permanente, invoice 1051. Receive payment, permanente, check, this is invoice 1051, and their reference check number is 1794. Okay. Now, as you see, we have some checks. We're going to write here. So we'll start with check 1104 on March 19th. Make sure it's 1104, March 19th. The first one will be to cellular service for 8213. Next one. Paper Supply Company for one fifty. Paper Supply Company for one fifty. Next. Western Telephone for seventy eight twenty three, seventy eight twenty three. Next, Office Suppliers for one thirty two forty. One thirty-two forty. 
Next, Moss Advertising for 175. Next, SPR Gas for one thirteen twenty five. Next, our deliveries for sixty. Next, U.S. Post Office for 47. And then Vince Bartell for 150. Okay. Now, we see here, verify that the dashboard bank account balance in 101 checking is $51,600.90. So we'll go and look. $51,600.90. You want to make sure you match there. Then we'll go on to a bill for computers to you March 21st. March 21st, computers to you. This was 501C2U. And we are purchasing four computers. Okay. And then we've got another bill, Anytime Deployment, on March 21st. Anytime Deployment. And this is bill ATD 694. And this is for 10 network products. Ten network products. Now we have some customer payments. We on March 21st we receive payment from the Springfield School District. So, receive payment, March 21st, Springfield School District. This was invoice 1053, and this was by check. And this is check 9290. Next one, WebPro, invoice 1052.
invoice 1052, check, and this is check number 912. Okay, then we have a sales invoice to Unified Springfield Unified School District on March 25th. New invoice. March 25th. And here we're dealing with, oops, sorry guys, um, two web servers. So we'll go down here, web server, two of those, and you see there is also some sales tax. Then we have a sales receipt for one computer. This is dated March 25th. Sales receipt, March 25th, cash for one computer. And you will see the sales tax. You are unable to validate your customer's shipping address. I don't think we need to worry about that. Um, you notice the sales tax there. And now we have some credit card receipts. Here we show on March 26, a purchase, eight data storage, and one computer. March 26, data storage, 8, and then one computer. Eight data storage and one computer and with sales tax that's thirteen fifty. Thirteen fifteen, let me make sure I'm right here. Thirteen fifteen sixty four. Good. Then we have another sales receipt for um, three network products. And this is three network products. And you will see there is sales tax associated with that. And then as we move on, you will see another one. Um, for five data storage, this is March 26th, cash, five data storage, then we've got two network products and three webinars. To network products and then webinars.
Okay. For a total of 551.72. Okay. Now we have some bills we paid. So we've got um, on March 26, anytime deployment, ATD 645, anytime deployment. Two fifty. Next, computers to you forty nine four nine two. Four nine two. There we go. Then we've got conference call three eighty five. Conference call. And this is three eighty five for two hundred and seventy dollars. Okay. And here again are the remittance slips that will go with those three checks. We have a bill now from Cloud Z Channel dated March thirtieth. New bill. Cloud Z channel. Dated March thirtieth. And this bill is CZ four seven six. And we've got um Six web servers. Six web servers. Then we have a bill anytime deployment. ATD 734. And this was um, for 11 network products. Eleven network products. Then we have some credit card receipts. So we have some sales receipts. And this is on March 30th. We have on March 30th, 15 data storage, um, 
data storage, 15, and then we have six network products. Then another sales receipt is, let me make sure I, six network products. This next one is also March 30th, and this is for one computer, six network products. Network products, six, and then four or five data storage. Okay. And then we have one last one for 16 data storage and one computer. Sixteen data storage and one computer. And we are good there. Okay. Next page. We now should have an unadjusted trial balance as of March 30th. That should look like this. Okay, so we'll go to our reports. Trial balance one oh five six sixty two twenty four. you ever want to feel a sigh of relief it's like whew, you did it you'll export that and then you'll look at the sales tax liability report showing the um, tax amount for Arizona and for Illinois export that um, the transaction register we are going to pay these bills. Check 116 will pay the Arizona Department of Revenue bill. Excuse me, I didn't want a bill. I want to pay. Check. And I'll pay Arizona Department of Revenue um, on March 30th. For sixteen seventy eight seventy two, and this should be sixteen seventy eight seventy two. And we'll also pay the Illinois Department of Revenue for $100. Illinois Department of Revenue for $100. Okay. 
You will then look at your journal just to make sure you balance here or everything looks familiar. Okay. Expert, export the journal to Excel using Chapter 10 Journal. Now we're going to talk about end of quarter adjusting entries. It's a policy of the student name sales and service to record adjusting entries at the end of the quarter. The accounting records are complete through March 31st, the end of the first quarter. Make the following journal entries. Adjust three months of prepaid rent. Adjust prepaid insurance. Adjust accumulated depreciation and then display March's adjusting entries. So we're going to start with adjusting uh, prepaid rent. Six thousand will debit our rent and lease and credit prepaid rent. So we will go and do a journal entry. Let's see, my accountant does it or accounting. Uh, here, I'll just go here to journal entry. So we'll have March 30th, 2024, and we're going to show rent. And lease for 6,000. And then we credit prepaid. Rent for 6000 The next one will be adjust prepaid insurance. So that will be for 750. So the next one is insurance expense. For 750, and we credit prepaid insurance. For 750, okay. Then one more adjusting entry for depreciation expense. An accumulated depreciation of 800. Depreciation expense and accumulated depreciation of 800. Okie doke. Make sure you look at those journal entries and that we're in line. Okay, now look at your adjusted balance and send that on over. The um, Unadjusted trial balance will differ from this adjusted balance because we've just created some adjusting entries. You'll look at your receive, age, accounts receivable aging, your inventory valuation, accounts payable aging summary, your profit and loss, the comparison by month, the first three months, your balance sheet, and your statement of cash flows. Then again, check your progress. Make sure that you balance. And then for some of your homework, 
we will um, reconcile the checking account. Make sure you put in the service charge of $20. Okay. Note, two checks have not cleared the bank, so make sure you do not check those boxes. Okay. And then you'll want to print out these uh, various reports. Okay. So I will see you in the next chapter.